Wow, so I spent the whole morning photographing this beautiful lake, Parker Lake, in the eastern Sierra Nevada. The light just kept changing over and over again. It was phenomenal. I got really lucky. Hiking in the dark paid off. It usually does because you just get out here and see the best of the morning light. And, you know, light is always changing in the backcountry. You know, you can sit here for 30 minutes and just watch the clouds change color, the peaks change color. It's just like it's, it's an emotional mind game because it looks like the light's going to stop or that it's done, but then it starts again. You know, the light might disappear for a minute and then it creeps back in. That's why I love photography. It's just so exciting, chasing the light. I ran here, I was out of breath, but it was all worth it in the end. It was, it was such an amazing morning. I photographed for about 45 minutes. I must have gotten at least one good shot. Um, I'll show it hopefully in this video. Uh, if there's one that I can work with, I'm sure there is, because uh, the conditions were just perfect. You know, photography is so much not about the photographer and more about just being there at the right time and willing to do stuff like hike in the dark, um, be freezing. My hands are like purple right now. I can barely feel them. Uh, but that's what really makes a good photographer, in my opinion, is the person who's willing to go through the effort and the hardships of, you know, making it, um, you know, out here at the right time, you know, in the morning and suffering the conditions. So uh, this is my first video. I've never done a video before. Uh, my first mission, I guess you could say, is I'm going to take you guys up to the eastern Sierra Nevada. They got some fall colors going on, hopefully. Um, I haven't seen any reports in the particular area that I'm going to be going to, which is Parker Lake. Um, but that's where I'm going. Hopefully the, the winds haven't blown all the leaves off, and hopefully there's some great color. I can use either my telephoto lens or the lens I got right here on uh, the camera I'm filming with to get some nice aspen photos um, near the lake as well. So uh, come join me. Let's go, guys. Um, it's a four-hour drive from here, and as soon as I get there, we'll, uh, we'll start exploring around. All right, uh, backpacker, that's my normal thing because I like to go to these remote wilderness locations where I can camp overnight in a tent. However, uh, I don't have time for that because I'm getting a late start on Saturday and I got to get back to work on Monday morning, unfortunately. All right, I got everything compartmentalized in its own little waterproof bag and whatnot, and I'm ready to pack the stuff up in the car, including this merino wool blanket that's going to keep me warm at night and head out of town. Let's go. I'm excited to see some fall colors. I am almost to my destination. Wow! Whoa! Look at all that snow coming right at me. That is awesome. I did not expect this. 10% chance just turned into 100. This is exciting. Did not expect any snow. I am gonna, I'm just gonna love watching and seeing that fresh snow on the top of the peaks. Probably the first snow that the higher elevations have had this year. This is gonna be fun. Let's just hope it doesn't keep snowing and it clears up so we can get some good photography. Uh, according to my watch, sun rises in exactly an hour from now. So I got my headlamp on, I'm going to hit the trail. There's some cloud coverage. Uh, it cleared up though uh, pretty much so it's not snowing, it's not raining anymore, which is perfect. I think uh, there's a 20% chance um, snow today. So uh, hopefully those clouds give us a beautiful fiery sunrise. I'm going to hit the trail. Let's get going. All right, here we go, Parker Lake Trailhead. I need to get moving because I only got 45 minutes until sunrise, so I need to haul butt there because it is a two mile hike, so I am gonna start right now. All right, hiking in the dark, here we go. All right, I can kind of see that the sun is coming out already, which is making me nervous. I would hate to, to get there after sunrise defeat the whole purpose of this photography trip so I'm going as fast as I can which is actually a good thing because that's helped keeping me warm I forgot to tell you guys I didn't bring my drone because what I figured out before I left was this is actually considered a wilderness area and regulations prohibit the use of drones so that's not gonna happen but my plan is to still get some beautiful photography of the lake here some low hanging fog and clouds rolling over the peaks in the distance hopefully that stays for the sunrise that would make an epic shot man I'm nearly killing myself here going to this kind of pace in the cold that cold air is hard on the lungs but wow look at that light it's shining across the snow-capped peaks right now wow 
I just hope it doesn't disappear. You can see this cloud layer behind me. Hopefully that kind of doesn't block the sun too much or we're not going to get that exciting of a sunrise. All right, just in that little cirque there, that's where the lake is, right where I'm pointing, right in that little valley, so almost there. I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the lake now, and it's actually perfect timing. It's bright enough to hike without a headlamp, but it's not so late that the sun has even created any alpine glow that you know a vibrant orange glow on the top of the peaks german word for that is alpine glow it's not late enough where that's happened already so hopefully i still got time almost there well here i am at the base of parker lake and it is just gorgeous let me zoom out here wow Look at those fall colors in the distance. Got the clouds blowing out. Holy moly. Oh, I'm out of breath because I was literally running here so I wouldn't run out of time. Well, it's getting really bright so I need to hurry up and get a shot before I run out of chances. So the difficult part is going to be finding an interesting composition. There's a little more cloud coverage behind me than I'd like which is why we're not getting the alpine glow, I think, on the peaks or a lot of fire in the, in the clouds or a lot of color in the clouds. So anyways, let me set up here and uh, see what we can do. All right, guys, as you can see, the light show is about to start. I got the light coming across the top of the peaks there. Look at just how vibrant those trees, those uh, yellow aspens stand out in the background. I got the beautiful reflection the clouds are starting to get some color. You can't really tell um, in this exposure because it's too bright. But um, I'm going to walk around and, and set up a, a beautiful shot to get the whole scene in. Um, I'm going to have to do some dynamic, high dynamic range here. So I'll probably have to do three multiple ex exposures and blend them later in Photoshop. Uh, just because, as you can see, there's just too much dynamic range here. you got the shadow in the lake, the, the bright trees that you want to get. But you also want to get the the reds in the mountains as well as the color in the sky so it's going to be a tricky shot but we'll do our best let me show you around real quick wow this is almost making me want to do a panoramic so the best of the light is probably gone by now, but it is completely, amazingly beautiful out here. Look at those puffy white clouds hanging onto the tops of the peaks. Wow, the reflection of the cumulus clouds in the water. The light coming in. aspens that little aspen grove right out there I'm gonna switch to a telephoto lens um, that nice little patch where there's a perfect reflection and hopefully I can get a nice telephoto shot out of that all right so I got my telephoto lens on there's that beautiful little grove of aspens that I'm gonna be trying to shoot I probably need to wait for the Sun to creep in on them the Sun's probably like just 10 minutes away from from shining directly on them. I think that might create a, a better reflection. I'm not sure though, it could be too harsh, that direct light, so we'll have to wait and see. Right now I'm just trying to get my hands warm. All right, sorry that I so abruptly just left Parker Lake I, my hands were just so cold, I couldn't feel them anymore. And um, light was kind of getting bad anyway, so I took off. Now I'm back in the car. I'm going up now to a nearby Walker Lake where hopefully I can do some cool dr uh, drone shooting. Uh, but first I wanted to show you this amazing scenery. Uh, check out the fall colors over to the left here. I'll zoom in. 
just all across the hills. I'm doing this with my telephoto lens at about 100 millimeters. Well, now it's at 100. There we go. But wow, all those clouds just uh, already building up pretty early. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more snow and, or thunderstorms or rain today or hail. Uh, it's pretty early for all this cloud buildup. It's only 9 o'clock. So as soon as the sun's heat comes out, we'll, I'm sure we'll see some more buildup of cumulus clouds. But anyways, let's go up to Walker Lake and see if we can get some awesome drone shots. That is within uh, National Forest territory, so drones are permitted. Um, I probably won't do it, though, if there's a bunch of people around. I don't want to bother people, especially if there's fishers. And I'd be kind of annoyed if somebody's flying a drone around while I was fishing. So um, we'll see what happens. If not, I'll probably just try to get some shots of the lake there as well. But wow, this is this is beautiful. So I'm here at Walker Lake. This is my favorite fall color spot. Every mountain photographer has their favorite fall color spot, and this is mine uh, because the aspens just get really concentrated, uh, particularly in in that spot that spot over there. However, as you can see, uh, it's completely green right now. So I'm kind of surprised because I just came from Parker Lake, which is approximately the same elevation. And there was a lot of fall color, golden, uh, green, you know, mixture of aspens there, but here, no gold at all. But I'm gonna see if we can take the drone, fly it over the lake, get a really cool perspective. Maybe there's a shot still to be had here, especially with the dramatic clouds in the background blown over the peaks. Uh, which has been going on all day. I love it. Uh, maybe we can still get a cool shot out of that. So uh, let's let's fly this little drone over the lake and have some fun. Flying over Walker Lake now, checking out this beautiful turquoise glistening water with some yellow aspens just hugging the shoreline right to the left there. Anyways, if you'd like me to do more landscape photography videos, let me know. I'd be more than happy to showcase more of the beautiful California wilderness with everybody. This being my first video, I don't really know what to expect, so any positive or negative feedback would be appreciated. Otherwise, I'll leave you with one final drone photo where I think I got some pretty cool shadows and geometry in the shot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the alert button. Until next time.